Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies. Last time you guys were with me, we finally beat All Your Brands Are Belong to Us after a lot of difficulty experience here and there. And finally, I mean finally, 33 episodes in, we finally have enough money to purchase this beauty right here. This fine beauty. This is the 10th seed slot. Now you can choose to take 10 seeds with you per level. This is going to be very important as we go through survival mode because there's going to be some levels like later on survival mode that, that are pretty difficult and pretty intimidating. But you know, not as much as long as you have the uh, thing with you. And also we have three more uh, seeds to purchase, but as you can see we're kind of low on money again. But thankfully that won't be a problem after I show you guys a, pos a set you can use that will allow you to grind a lot of money. In fact, each time you do this, you'll grind like at least like $5,000 or so. So it doesn't seem like much, but as long as you do it like several times, it doesn't really take that long anyways. Um, you will get a lot of money pretty fast. And for the most part, this is how I got most of the money, you know, to buy the 10 seed slots. So I'm going to show it to you guys, you know, just so that you can use it yourselves and, you know, get money just as fast. Now, you can actually do the setup with with or without the 10 seed slot. Like, as long as you have 9 seed slots, the setup is possible. And I'll, sh I'll let you get, I'll, I'll explain how I did it without 10 seed slots. But for now, let's just show the regular way, which is 10 seed slots. <laughs> okay. First thing, for, so, you're going to want a lily pad, garlic, pumpkins, tall nuts, marigolds. Um, you're going to want the coffee bean because you're going you're gonna to be using mushrooms in this setup, like the fume shroom. The Gloom Shroom, which I'll finally be able to show after, like, not showing it all after purchasing it. And the Magnet Shroom and the Gold Magnet. Alright, so once you have these 10 seeds, you know, purchase. I mean, no, not necessarily purpose. Well, yeah, you do have to purchase them to use them, but... You know, as long, once you have these, you know, available, then let's rock. Can you survive five flags? With this setup, you pretty much always can. It never fails. As long as you always maintain it. This setup does require some maintenance. But thankfully you'll have you'll have plenty of sun to work with because it, this setup does not take a lot of sun, despite the fact that it takes up the entire screen. But we'll get that get to that here in a second. So first things first, get your garlic out right here and here. This is the only two places you'll have garlic. And the next thing you want to do is plant three fume shrooms behind each garlic. Now they're asleep at the moment, but once you put on put gloom shrooms on top of them, well actually no, it's it's coffee beans that wakes them up, but. But yeah, you just do that, that, and that. Now, these uh, gloom shrooms are much more powerful than you might think they are. I mean, really, they are a, a powerhouse to you to to you know use in the set. And here's why: because these guys right here, these guys right here, are gonna be our only line of offense. Literally, it, you're this def, this setup relies heavily on these guys. Like, these guys can take care of all the pl all the zombies that, you know, come through your yard during last stand. So, it's just, it's, it's definitely a very useful set that works every time. You know, but again, it's not, it's not entirely flawless. You still need to, you know, maintain it. But, um, and then the rest of, the rest of what's behind these, uh, this big line of tallnuts here, which are main line defense, is marigolds. Marigolds are what's gonna be making you the money most of the time. But, there's still one more, one last issue. How, I mean, like, I did say that you don't really have to do much, you know, once this up, you know, gets up, because you don't have to do much. But you still got all these marigolds, like taking all all this money, and then you guys just got move. You think you might have to move your mouse around, like click, 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 click the entire time, just get the money. Well, no, you won't, because what you'll do is you'll plant right here in these two two spots right here, magnet room, and on top of them, gold magnets. Gold magnets are really really nice if you want to use a set that gets you a lot of money, because they will instantly just grab all the money on screen, including. Whether it be silver dollars, which are t worth ten dollars, gold coins, which are worth uh, ten, I mean, no, fifty dollars, sorry, and they'll even pick up diamonds for you. Hell, yeah. Of course, the only thing they won't pick up for you is you know whenever the zombies drop like chocolate or or um uh, plants for your Zen garden. But once you have all this, you can start the onslaught. Now look at this. Watch this. 
So the zombies that are in these rows are gonna eat the garlic and they're gonna you know go to the, move to the other side. And they will be killed almost like well, bucketheads can walk like maybe three spaces before they finally die, but these guys, these guys can take care of almost every zombie that they throw at you here. I mean, really. They, like, they're not going to throw any gargantuars in last stand, so this set is pretty much flawless. The only... Oh, and there we go. We just got, got a plan for Zengarn. Okay. But here's the problem with doing the nine, doing this uh, set with nine seed slots. Um, what you need to do is drop the pumpkins. The pumpkins are the only plant that you might be able to do this set without. But what you have to do is you have to put a tall enough behind the garlic if you are using nine seed slots because whenever a pole vault zombie jumps over this garlic, um, if there's no pumpkin on top of these, uh, you know, these first group gloom shrooms right here, he's gonna be able, he's gonna have enough time to eat through one of these before he gets killed by the other two. So each time a pole vault zombie goes through, you will, you will lose one gloom shroom if you don't have the pumpkins over them. But of course, once that first gloom shroom is gone, then the Two Gloom Shrooms can take care of a Pole Vault Zombie just fine by the time he gets to the second one. So, that's basically how the setup works without, you know, 9 seed slots. You just need to have two Tolents here instead of, like, Gloom Shrooms with pumpkins on them. But, either way, it's a lot more effective if you have 10 seed slots. And so, there we go. That automatically successfully defended one flag. And the Marigolds and Zombies will keep on dropping, you know, money so you can keep on, you know, getting more and more. And so, after we're done with this setup, we'll have, like, $10,000, which will allow us to buy the Spike... The spike rocks, which I can, which are an upgrade to the spike weed, and I can show that to you guys um, um, in one of the survival survival mode levels. I don't know if it's going to be in the very first one, but it will be in one of the daytime survival modes. So don't you worry about, don't you worry thing about that. I will show it to you guys. And you also got by the winter bolts, and then there's that other, that very last plant that is very, very powerful. Like it's a. It's a powerhouse once you get it. I know I've already used the word powerhouse earlier on this episode, but you know, for the for the gloom trimmers, but that plant, that last plant that you buy in this game, is by far a, like ten times more powerful than gloom shrooms. Like at least like ten times, maybe twenty times. And they are by far the most powerful plants in the entire game. And so you know, you guys know how much I love the you know the the uh what's it called? The uh um the melon pulled so much, well, that last plant definitely tops any, I'll take it over any melon pulls any time. Despite how much I love the melon pulls, like, don't think I don't love the melon pulls still, I just, I just can't deny that that thing is way more powerful than the tall nuts. Okay, so, here's how you have to manage this up, because eventually the zombies are gonna eat through the garlic, so you have to, like, watch the garlic and make sure it doesn't run out, because if it does, then you'll start having zombies gain through the pumpkins and eating them through them fast, and then eventually you'll have a problem where you lose all of your offense because they eat through these guys. So that's the one thing about the set, is that you have to maintain the garlic, and you also have to maintain the pumpkins and the tall nuts, but since they're giving you 250 sun after every flag, that shouldn't be a problem at all. Like, it should, it should be enough sun. And so there you go, guys. That's the set that gets you a lot of money. You know, it took me like 33 episodes to get this point in the game, but yeah, there it is. Um, jeez, this already took us, like, yeah. This could be a long episode, because I'm also going to be showing, like, the very first level of survival mode this episode, so. But it shouldn't take too long. I mean, each, the first, uh, the first sets of, uh, survival mode, the first set of levels of first survival mode are only five flags long. So it should only be as long as, uh, survival mode, as long as, uh, Last Stand is. But even, even then, I think Last Stand's, like, taking, like, ten minutes or so to do. So that's probably because it's been, yeah. Yeah, come to think of it, actually, two flags, just, yeah, just two and a half flags need to be taking us, like, ten minutes, oh well. That's fine, we can have, like, one extended episode just for once, because we haven't had one of those in a while, like, because they, they've all been fairly around, like, 20 minutes or so, you know, ever since that one half hour episode we had last time, yeah. Actually, I don't know. For the most part, that's how it's been, you know, because I keep on, you know, saying I don't want to have two long episodes, but I'm trying to upload at least, like... At least like five or six times a week, which has been working out so well. Like I, I want to do get to up uh, daily uploads eventually, but you know, with all this stuff's been going on in high school, you know how it's how I'm like getting to the end of high school here and like trying to prepare for college. It's been taking up most of my time, pretty much. And there we go, just defended three flags. 
I'll just continue on with this set until we get to the very end, especially since we'll still be, since we can also, we'll be able to buy the spike rock, you know, just to show you guys that it do, it can't last five flags, like, for sure. Oh, sure. Okay, so we're, this guard's turned around, so why, why don't we just replace it right away? But yeah, like, for the most part, you can actually, like, just go off and do something else while you're waiting for the, for one flag to be gone, because you're still gonna have to click, you know, start onslaught again, like, after every flag. And I'm pretty sure, like, if you have all everything, like, all fresh, all fresh and everything, it could probably last, like, one flag on its own. So, you can just, like, go off and do something on your own while you're waiting for the, for this flag to get over, because, you know, just, it's collecting the money for you. The only thing you, the only downside to that is that you miss out on collecting the, uh, the possible Zengarn plants that the zombies drop. Oh yeah, and speaking of Zengar, I also gotta show, like, all the stuff you can buy for that, because there are stuff, like, you can buy to, that allow you to, like, manage your Zen Garden. so, and there's some plants that you cannot plant at all without buying some of these upgrades, and some of these are really expensive. Like, there's, like, three things you have to buy for the Zen Garden that are worth 30,000, actually two things, but still, both of which are worth $30,000, so, and then a lot of the other stuff you buy is, like, either five to $10,000, so, I'm gonna need a lot of money, like, just to show you guys all the features of the, uh, you know, the, uh, um, the Zen Garden, so, that's gonna be the only, like, downside to this, is that we're just gonna need it. I'm just gonna have to continue, like, collecting more and more money off screen, so. You know, better than that, it's just, it's not gonna take as long now that I have the 10 seed slot upgrade. But yeah, this, I'd say this is definitely a turning point in Let's Play, is me getting the... Finally getting a 10 seed slot because up until now I've been like very, you know, very sluggishly, you know, you know, getting money in this game so I can actually do other stuff, you know. Because you can't really do much in this game without money. You just, you just, you seriously, you seriously can't, you know, until you're able to buy all of those upgrades. Okay. All right, all right. So we got. Oh crap! 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 Oh boy! Oh boy! I didn't think that garlic would run out that fast. Holy crap, did I just... Yeah, I must have forgot about that. Okay. Well, we just barely averted a crisis there, but that's fine. We still got plenty of... Plenty of protection going for us. Because we had our work cut out for us. I suppose. More like the Gloom Shrooms did. I mean, like, heck, they're... They're like our main line of offense here, so this is the only way we're killing zombies. Just these... Just these guys right here, and they're doing their job, actually. Doing pretty well. One could theoretically actually survive, have a nice step of... Like, here's one thing you could do, like, for... like I'd, I would suggest this more so for the fog levels than for the, uh... Daytime pool levels, since you have to... You know, you have to spend the extra 75 sun for... Um... The extra 75 sun for the, you know, coffee bean if you do this during the day. But if you do this, like, on a fog slip, you could potentially, like, have just, like, a garlic right here and here. And then have an entire line of gloom shrooms. Just on these two rows. And you could probably survive all of survival, survival mode fog. In fact, actually, I think we'll try that. But in the meantime, guys, we now have enough money to purchase one of the upgrades. So let's do that. Let's get to that. Alright. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the shop, and we're going to go back here and purchase the... Well, we've also got enough money for the winter poles, but... Um... Yeah, let's purchase this first. Alright, and now, everyone, it's time for survival mode! Alright! So, let's get this started. Hang on, I need to close the blinds. Alright, and without further ado, let's get... Further delay... Let's get... Okay, uh, sorry about the unintentional pun there. Survival day, here we go. Now, the first five levels of survival mode, you will go through each of the five different kinds of levels. And for each one, you have to survive five flags of zombies. Now, it seems simple, right? Well, they're got... Well, for these first five levels, yeah, it is pretty simple. But then we're gonna get the hard... Get the hard modes. The hard versions of these levels, where you have to... Clear with, uh, um, uh, dang. What was I gonna say there? Um, okay, apparently I'm having another brain fart. Brain fart. So let's get, let's just get on with this before I have any more. 
Okay, so with 10 seats, the last thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna go with with an entire set of just three Peters, and then the rest rest uh, will be just uh, emergency plants. Because I think that'd be probably be the, probably be the most fun way to go about doing this. And so the rest will be um, what could we do actually? I honestly have no clue what we could do. Um, let's go with spike weeds and spike rocks. You know, just like an, just to, just for the sake of sh sake of showing off the spike rocks. All right. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, torch weed, torch wood. Duh. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's get started. Now, at first, it's gonna feel like just a regular regular old uh, day level, but it's not because after each flag. They are going to give you a chance to select, you know, select your plants again, but you'll still keep the set, same setup as you go through. That's what I love about Survival is that you get to keep the the garden that you were growing before and continue on through the flags with the same one, and they'll just allow you to add more plants to it, which I think is really awesome. That's what makes Survival a lot of fun. In the meantime, let's just get our column of sunflowers going. Very, very nice. And up until we can afford the uh, three pairs, we're just gonna rely on these guys for for the time being. So we'll let the squash take care of this guy. And we're also gonna be relying heavily on potato mines because potato mines are just a godsend. I mean, it, or saints, I should say. Okay. Of course, the sooner we can get our twin sunflowers going, that the better. Definitely the better. Okay, potato mines. Don't mind if I do. Heck, we might as well get, like, two columns of sunflowers, and the rest can be, like, all three peters or something like that, I don't know. Until we're ready to get the spike weeds and spike rocks out, yeah. Here's that. And here we go. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure what to talk about, because it's been... Well, today is Valentine's Day, I guess I should talk about that, duh. But... You know, honestly... I don't know if I'm gonna celebrate Valentine's Day on my channel. I'm mostly just celebrating real life because, you know, obviously, like, I have someone to celebrate with, but, you know, it's just, it's not... I don't know how I would celebrate on my channel besides saying I love you guys at the end of the episode, but really, what would that... What kind of, like, what kind of way to celebrate, you know, Valentine's Day is that? I honestly have no clue. But one thing I will say is that Valentine's Day, um... For me, I just think of it as like, you know, just just another, like, I don't mean to be, be like down about it because, you know, there's some people out there who don't even have girl, have like a, you know, someone to get presents for, but for me, sometimes I only, I just think of it as another day where I have to get somebody, somebody a gift. Now, I don't mean to be down about it, and, you know, I don't mind that. I actually do like getting gifts for people, but, you know, especially my friends or, you know, my girlfriend, but still, you know, it's just, uh, it's just another one of those holidays, you know, if you ask me. And not only that, but it's also my dad's birthday. And on top of that, it was also my oldest cat's birthday, who, and her name was Kayla, but she died, unfortunately, like, a, um, in October 2011. So, yes, while I was, I remember, like, this actually happened while I was uploading one of my Donkey Kong 64 episodes. I can't remember what episode it was, but I remember it being the one where I, where I was playing through that, that stupid Donkey Kong arcade machine that couldn't get past. Well, I shouldn't say stupid because, you know, it's just because. Sucked at it, but still, that's that's just the memory. That's another memory that I associate with it is the fact that you know our cat, Kay our oldest cat, died that night when I was uploading it, and um, you know it was just really sad. Don't worry, she died of old age, but still, and I'm acting like that's a good thing, but it's not. But still, you can't really stop old age. You just can't. You know, it's all there is to it. But still, that's just one of the unfortunate. Memories I have to associate, you know, that pr that particular part of my let my DK64 Let's Play with. Now it's not like I, you know, didn't watch her. You know, I was there with her when she died. In fact, I, my dad, had, it was just me, and my dad, living alone at our old house at this point. And you know, I, we actually kind of saw it coming because, like, at least like a week or two before she before she actually passed away. Um. She started to get grow like weak. Like she starts like we began to notice like changes in her. Like she started to become weak. She started to like move around the house a lot less. Like she would just stick with one spot the entire house most of the time, and she would barely move at all. And she acted like she just had no energy left. And it was really sad to see this, but nonetheless, 
You know, that's one of the reasons why we just saw it coming, you know. But again, you just you just can't do anything about that. So, yeah, it was pretty sad. But yeah, I was just there and I just I just watched her, you know, cuz I wanted to be with her because this cat, let me tell you something. This cat out of all the cats I've ever had in my life, this cat loved me the most. I mean, I swear like every single time I sat down anywhere it was, at least like in the last few years of her life. I, I'm pretty sure she hated me earlier on when she knew me, but you know, she was a family cat since like, she was born in 1994, so she was 17 when she died. And for for most of her life, she hated me. I could, I'm pretty sure she hated me because let's just say as a young kid, as a very little kid, I didn't know how to treat cats. Honestly, I know I didn't have the slightest clue how animals were supposed to be treated. I'm just gonna say that. Yeah, I'm not like this anymore. I'm nothing like this. But yeah, I and I can totally understand. Like, I would hate me too if I was like, you know, if I saw me like that. But yeah, this this cat, I think she grew to love me a lot. It's like near the, like in the later stages of her life, because she would. Oh my God, she would always, always find me whenever I sat down. She would just jump up onto my lap and just sit there the entire time I was there. And she did not get off of me until I wanted to get up. And let me tell you, it took some, like, getting used to the fact that she always wanted to, you know, be on me whenever I sat down anywhere. It was just... I don't know, I guess it's kind of cute, you know, kind of, but still, like, I just... It's like, cat, I'm just, I'm just sitting down, you know, you, you don't have to sit on me, like, every time I do, but still, you know, I guess I should have appreciated it, too. But nonetheless, you know, we loved her a lot, and she, she, I'm pretty sure she died a pretty happy cat, you know, she, she was loved and everything. But yeah. Oh, man, it was just so sad, but yeah, that's... Yeah, you guys get the idea. That's why Valentine's Day is not the best day in the world for me. I mean, like, sure, I do have somebody to celebrate with, but still, I have, like, unfortunate memories associated with it. You know, with the fact that my oldest cat, <coughs> who died a couple years ago, her birthday was on this day. So, yeah, it was just, it was just very sad. You know, it's, it, was at, it was, like, pretty much after, you know, my life, you know, took a big, you know, turnaround. Like, I never, I'm not... I'm not saying like I, I was ever bad or anything, but let's just say I was kind of—I became kind of a different person. Like after, especially during eighth grade. Eighth grade was a huge change in my life. Like there were all sorts of things in my life that changed. You know, during eighth grade. Like eighth grade was the year where things really changed for me. And it was just—I don't know. It's a, it's like really hard to explain. Like there's all these things that happened during like in early 2010, late 2009, that led to like this huge like all these like a huge change in my life you know just i don't know like well obviously it wasn't just my life that was changing with my dad's too and like everyone who was involved with us but still it was just uh like some of these changes that did ha end up happening they were some of them were actually really good like i became like the very social you know friendly person i am today but you know, regardless, it, it took, like, a lot of, like, unfortunate changes to make that happen. You know, it's kind of, you know, bad that things had to turn out this way, but you guys get the idea. You know, I I just told this very long story, and now we're continuing on through this, and this episode's already pretty long. But we must continue on. We, we must shove, shove on forward through survival daytime easy. Okay. How could I forget the torch wood? Like, seriously, I can't believe that was the last thing I decided to put out. Oh, man. Okay, so I think it's safe to say we're generating plenty of sun here. We don't need to, like, have to plant more twin sunflowers. But nonetheless, we're still going to continue to do that until we have just enough, you know, three-peaters out to keep this up going forever. Forever and ever. All right. Heck, soon we'll have enough... Yo, yeah, actually, let's get the spike weed out now and, and spike rod so I can show it to you guys. Basically, the spike rock is basically a more powerful version of spike weed. And what it does, and this is actually this actually makes it a lot more useful against zombies or any kind of mechanical machine that zombies ride on. You see, whenever a zombie or any kind of machine that runs over plants, you know, whenever it hits a spike weed, 
the machine gets destroyed instantly, the zombie on it dies. But along with that, the plant also disappears. It's just it's gone. It's a one use only against those machines. Even though it's a permanent use against regular zombies, but it it only lasts like however long it takes for it to get hit by one machine. Spike Rocks, on the other hand, it can get hit by several machines and still, still continue standing and damaging zombies. So, it just lasts longer than the Spike Wheel, is what I'm trying to say. Like, it can, it can withstand, like, at least, like, two or, like, three or four hits from a, ra from a, a zombie machine. That's, that's a very, very useful, very good use for it, I should say. And which is why we're going to be having... Um, I'd say two columns of, no, actually three columns of Spike would be good enough. And then the rest could all be, you know, just the, uh, just whatever, I suppose. Okay. Okay, so we got two more, s no, actually one more now. One more slot for the, uh, twin sunflowers, but, yeah. There's that. Okay. Let's get the staircase and the torchwood out, too, while we're at it. All right. Okay, so I guess it's just gonna be the same as usual. We'll just keep on keep this going until we beat the level. It shouldn't be, we shouldn't take too long at all because it doesn't look look like they're gonna throw any zombies at us. So I can show the, uh, you know, whatever it is. So what we're gonna do is we're going to get out um, for this level. Let's get out just the same stuff as before. So. That, 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 that. No, not, no, we don't need potato mines anymore. I'm pretty sure we don't need them. So let's get... Um, same stuff as usual. Remember what they are, duh. <laughs> um... Um, let's get tall nuts, even though we're not gonna use them? Alright. Alright, that works. Let's keep that going. Gotta keep the spike weeds and the spike rocks coming while at the same time, you know, adding in other stuff like spike, you know, like torch wood. But yeah, I think that this step is definitely a win for sure. Like, it's an instant win for the survival daytime, definitely for sure. Yeah, another thing that's really nice about spike rocks is that, well, I guess actually, actually, that's not, it's not really a nice thing. It's, it's because they take forever to charge, so. That's the only downside to the spike rock, but what's good about them is that they're really cheap compared to most of the other, you know, purple upgrade plants, so I guess that's a good thing about it. Alright, so now we're done with twin sunflowers for the rest of this, I hope. I hope for the rest of this. And in the meantime, the rest is all just going to be up to the plants that we have out already. I mean, besides the spike rocks and spike weed, duh. Um, you are not good. Do this. There we go. Sorry, to become a problem there. Yeah, weren't you? Ha ha. Ha ha ha. All right. There's that. All right. There's that. And that. And we've only got two more flags. Holy crap. Okay. Let's keep that. Keep this coming. All right. Man. The Zombies are not going to last long at all. I mean, trust me on this. Like, they, they don't, they're not going to stand a chance against, against this setup right here. This stuff, this setup is unstoppable right here. I mean, look at that. This guy's getting annihilated. I mean, look at that. I mean, that, that was a football player for God's sakes. He could have been, like, he could have been a Seahawk. And he still didn't last that long. That's saying something. And now, everybody, without further delay, this is the actually the last flag. And so, we're not going to need sunflowers or sun... Uh, twin sunflowers. <laughs> um, and also, keep in mind, with the uh, spike weed and spike rock, um, we're not going to be able to plant any more plants once we, once we have everything out. So, we're just going to rely on, on everything but the sunflowers. Which means you're just gonna have to throw out random stuff. Well, actually, you know what? Let's just get out anyway. Just be safe. But I really don't think we're gonna have to worry about that. I mean, like, it's just like it's going by itself, so we don't need to worry about that. All right, so the rest will be talent again. 
Why the hell not? I mean, we're not gonna get them out though, but whatever. All right, so I guess for the rest of the time, we'll just we'll just uh, spend the rest of this, you know, getting everything else set up. Okay, now we just need uh, two more. Uh, what you might call it? <laughs> uh, three Peters, and then we'll actually be able to, you know, just sit back and watch the mayhem unfold. Which is unfortunate, it had to be like this late on into the uh, level, but whatever, that's fine. Fine with me, and we also gotta keep on keep in mind that this is not last stand with the rich sub, so we can't you know necessarily go necessarily go around you clicking on stuff. And, you know, we have to go around clicking on money. Sorry, you know, we can't rely on you know something some invisible force grabbing all the money for us. We can't do that. And there we go. Our sub is officially complete. Aside from you know Rusty's being spike rocks, but whatever. Who cares? I mean, like we're pretty much all set for this. And, oh, actually, you know what I should have done? What I should have done is actually, like, gone out, like, some, uh, like, imitator spike rocks, or, you know, to get them out faster, or, um, imitator, no, not just imitator, but just regular pumpkins. Like, we should have, like, done that so we can put these on torchwood. Then this set would be unstoppable for sure. But anyways, here it is. This is the final flag. Once you get the final flag, then you get your gold, at the, gold trophy at the end. So as you can see, survival mode on its own can make can take up an entire episode. Like just a regular five flags survival mode can take up an entire episode. So that's why the next four episodes at least will be just these four levels of survival mode. Survival night, pool, fog, and then the roof, obviously. Because I didn't have to spoil that. And so, that's what we'll be doing next time Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies. We'll be doing Survival Night Time. See you guys then. Thanks for watching. Bye.